Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, Friday, May 6th. A uh, little bit of rain coming down today, not too much, just a little bit. But uh, just thought I'd do a little update video. Uh, this upcoming uh, June will be my two year point of owning the car, so. third gear that third gear just man, it's always exciting but overall you know love the car uh, although my, my car stock I just love my car to death I mean there's really no no problems nothing I could uh, you know dislike besides uh, after getting the ECM update I had to some of the low end torque that was kind of disappointing but overall you know I can't complain that much I mean it's, at least it's not getting into a dangerous uh, part where it would damage the engine or even blow up the engine so that's always uh, you know, helpful uh, as for my likes and dislikes, I mean, my, I guess I'll start with my likes. Uh, you know, I like the power, I like uh, the fuel economy. I mean, you know, for a car that's all-wheel drive, it's always all-wheel drive, not just like the temporary all-wheel drive where some cars switch their axle to uh, just one to two. Uh, overall, it's just like this, you know, for all-wheel drive, the power it has, I can't really complain. I'm happy with uh, the power and, uh, yeah. Some dislikes. Uh, I find the seats a little uncomfortable. Like on a long trip, uh, my previous car was a Saab 93. I had leather seats, and those seats were just so comfortable. Like you can just go on the longest trips, and even in the back seats, like they were so comfortable. So it just seems like these seats. I don't know if it's the seat position. I don't know if it's because I have cloth seats, or I don't know if I need leather seats. But it just seems like it just feels like it's just a little bit of uncomfortable, uncomfortable position for me. It almost seems like. Sometimes I get out of my car and it feels like my back just kind of hurts after a long trip. But for short trips, you know, maybe like a 20, 30 minute trip, there's really no issue. But after like, I want to say two or three hours, it just gets a little, uh, a little difficult uh, to manage. Uh, my other dislike uh, would be the rev hang, which uh, was reduced somewhat uh, after the EC update, but uh, it's still there. Like a lot of times in first gear where you're pulling up maybe moving forward in traffic. It kind of makes you sound like you don't know how to drive really because it go vroom, and then it stays and then it goes down. But I guess it's just a normal uh, thing with the engine. So, you know, I can't really uh, say anything bad about that. Let's see. Uh, another dislike is the paint quality. It's very thin. Uh, Subaru paint has just been notorious for being uh, pretty uh, crappy in terms of the quality like I've had this car for two years now almost two years and like there's just all kinds of like everything from rock chips to soil marks which soil marks are mostly from car washes at the dealership but uh it just seems like it's just kind of lagging the paint department like my previous car like I said was a Saab 93 it was 2004 and I had like over 160,000 miles on it and it was an old car and yeah, it had some uh, dings and maybe a few scratches, but it just seemed like yeah, that paint held up much nicer uh, compared to this. Like this, it's like the tiniest little bump or scratch, and it's just like it's very noticeable. The other car, it seemed like it could take some uh, abuse without uh, being uh, too much of an issue. So. I guess that's how one other uh, dislike. But for the most part, I, I want to say that the, the likes uh, outweigh the dislikes on this car. I mean, you know, like I said, I like the power, I like the fuel economy, I like the sound of the engine. I know some people kind of don't like the sound. Uh, as for the exterior, like the actual design and looks, um, I guess some people don't really like it. I mean, I guess at first, when they first came out, I was kind of on the fence, but I kind of felt like once you sell the car in person, uh, you kind of uh, appreciate it more. And uh, I guess uh, I would say that I don't, have, I don't really have an issue with it. I guess some angles, it looks, you know, I don't want to really say it looks like a Toyota Corolla, but it kind of looks a little like, like maybe like some kind of other economy car, but kind of steeped up, you know, you know, having it's got a hood scoop and the quad exhaust sets. But uh, overall, you know, I like the car for what it is and I enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much the best bang for your buck. I mean, you know, you figure the car starts at like just under 27,000. Uh, I got, mine's a Subaru Premium model, so mine was about... It's a hair over 30 grand, but I, I brought it down a little bit, you know, with uh, some haggling. 
but uh, I guess for the bang for the buck, you know, the fuel economy, all-wheel drive, the power, um, you're basically paying, what you're paying for the car is the, you know, the power, and you're not really paying for the ergonomics and the interior quality, it's just like, you know, it's pretty basic, I mean, I, I, I like overall the interior, it's simple, it works, it's functional, but, uh, you know, I guess for what it is, you're basically paying for a souped up all-wheel drive car, and that's what it is, so can't really complain. And so, uh, yeah, and obviously, and obviously I like the reliability. It's been really reliable. Well, of course, it's, I only have a little over 18,000 miles, so I wouldn't expect it to uh, break down or anything, but for the most part, there's been no issues, so I'm not going to complain. I keep telling myself I want to get a Cobb tune, and then now at this point, I almost just want to say I just want to wait till that warranty, the powertrain warranty, kind of goes away. I guess some people say, you know, you don't really have to worry about avoiding, avoiding your warranty, but I just don't want to take the risk. Like for me, I'm big into having the warranty for your car, and if I were to ever have it voided and I couldn't fix something that went wrong, whether it's something serious, you know, you know, with my hard driving, you know, I'm pretty hard at my clutch, you know, I, you know, I won't lie, I've done many, many launches on my car, so. I know the clutch really isn't covered under warranty, but a lot of cases uh, they'll give you a partial warranty where you pay like 25% of the cost to replace the clutch. And if I were to not have that warranty, if it were to be voided for any reason, they would totally, absolutely, totally screw me over. So that's one of the reasons why I've been kind of holding off on the cop tuner. And also because I'm happy with the car's power. I mean, yeah, there's some things that I kind of missed, like the low end power before my ECM, ECM update. But uh, overall, you know, I'm happy with the car. It, it does what it's capable of. I'm happy with it, and I guess that's all that matters. So, but yeah, I didn't want to make this video too long. I didn't want to ramble or go off topic or just kind of basically an update on almost my two-year point of having the car. And uh, yeah, enjoying the car. Uh, uh, gonna keep making videos and uh, going from there. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. If you have any questions at all, like if you've just gotten the car, have any issues, uh, let me know. Like just recently, uh, someone uh, uh, messaged me on YouTube and uh, they were telling me that they just got their new uh, 2016 uh, WRX and they are mentioning how uh, they kind of felt like the gears, like when you would shift, like whether it be just going starting in first gear or doing second or third gear shift, it would almost feel like it would grind. And uh, he actually was wondering if I had that issue and actually I did. And um, I just think it's just part of the way the transmission is on Subarus is that when it's new and not broken in, uh, it just kind of has that kind of like that grind feel like where it almost feels like it's going to grind. It's just like the fact that everything is all kind of like new and not broken in and it kind of makes for a weird uh, experience when uh, shifting gears. So. And I just basically told them that it's a normal procedure. Uh, my car had that when I first got it, and I would say after the first oil change, which I did at 3,000 3, miles, and then uh, maybe uh, maybe another uh, 1,500 miles later, it tends to get loosened up, and the shifting experience is a lot better. But yeah, when you first get your car, your Subaru, uh, you're gonna feel like the trans, I, like for me, I thought there was something, I uh, definitely thought there was something wrong with it. I kind of felt like uh, I had to bring it in for warranty or something, but uh, just a common occurrence, and it's just something with Subaru transmission, so. Anyway, it's going to cut the camera now, and uh, thanks for thanks for watching. And uh, uh, you know, if you have any other questions, let me know, and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Bye.